This is the new Senna Impulse modular helmet with built-in mesh communications. Is this the helmet I've been waiting for? Well, I'm going to do a quick unboxing. We're going to take a look at the features, and then I'm going to go out and get on the motorcycle, pair it to my Goldwing, and see how this helmet works. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see what goodies we have from our friends over at uh, Senna, or Cena, if you prefer. I've always called it Cena, but okay. I think what we're going to have here is an impulse helmet. Okay, this is the impulse modular helmet from Senna. Very excited to see this. It even comes in a nice little carrying bag. That's cool. Okay, let's do a little unbagging video here. Okay, I they sent me it looks like a white helmet, gloss white. Let's pull this off. And uh, I don't know who makes these helmets for Senna. If anybody knows out there, let me know. I know they have kind of a deal with HJC with their communicators, but I don't know if HJC is making this helmet for Senna or not. Uh, on the side here, I see the controls. I assume these are the controls for the audio. This has a built-in Bluetooth communicator. So you basically just connect this to your Goldwing or whatever motorcycle you ride, and it will then communicate with other riders using Cena. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it is Bluetooth and not mesh. I don't know if this uses their mesh technology. Okay, so what we have is a modular helmet. Very nice, gloss white. It has a face shield, a little flip-up face shield. It also has a sun guard. There is a, uh, yeah, I've got a little sunshade. It looks like it just, I don't feel any real stops, so I guess it just, you just pull it to whatever level you want and leave it there. It feels pretty tight. I don't think it would you know, slip on you, the modular. So you pull down on this little tab here, and lift up the, the face shield. Uh, it does have a built-in microphone, nicely placed right here. That is that Harman Kardon microphone. Let me give you some, like maybe a cleaning cloth and here we have some other speaker and microphone. Uh, the little foam windscreens for the microphone are in here, as well as maybe some something for the speakers, like some little foam pads and a charging cable. It has a really nice, looks like a really nice quick release buckle. The cheek pads feel very soft, very good quality. You know, it feels like a really well-made helmet. This must be, maybe this is a charging port. I like the looks of it. I can't wait to see if it fits. It's got a uh, vent. There's also a vent on top. And there's looks like a, oh, there it is. It just slips down right there. Has a nice little duck tail look back here. It is a DOT helmet. So I'm going to figure out how to charge this thing. And we'll give it a charge, and we'll take it out and give it a try. So I pulled out that beautiful blue 2022 Goldwing to see if I could get this Senna helmet to pair with the audio system. Now you put it into pairing mode, much like a Senna headset. You just press the plus button and the center button until you see the red and blue lights flashing on the helmet. That puts the helmet into phone pairing mode. Now on the Goldwing system, I'm going to go to Rider Headset Pairing, 
press on inquiry. And once I see that scroll bar appear on the right, I'm pretty confident that it has been found and I'm going to scroll down. And yes, there is the impulse version 1.1.1. So I'm going to see if I can get that to connect. And sure enough, it does successfully pair. It may be hard to hear, but you can hear the radio uh, AM station coming through the speakers in the helmet. Of course, I can increase the volume by pressing the plus button a few times. When I put the helmet on for the first time, I noticed it does fit quite a bit differently than my HJC I normally wear. Uh, it's a little bit tighter, but that's probably a good thing. I do like this little buckle uh, attachment for the chin strap. I think it's much, much nicer. All of the parts are kind of stiff. I think it's just because it's a brand new helmet. The little chin bar is a little hard to close, but you know, once it closes, it is very secure. And same for the face shield. The placement of the rubber buttons on the side is perfect, is very easy to get to, and they're very easy to press. I'm going for my very first ride. You might notice I've got my face shield just slightly open, the uh, visor. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little cool today, and I didn't want any fogging to occur, but I did eventually open that vent on the chin, and that does help to prevent some of the fogging. And by the way, they do include a pin lock visor that comes with this helmet, which is a very nice feature. But uh, I was able to ride most of the time with it closed. However, I did end up cracking it again. I will say my first impressions of this helmet are that it was very, very comfortable. This is obviously a better quality helmet than my HJC IS Max. That's pretty obvious as soon as you put it on. Everything just feels a lot more secure, and it just feels like it fits tighter all the way around. It just feels like a really well-made quality helmet. Now, as far as the sound, I'm listening to the radio, and I do change between AM and FM during this ride. The sound quality is... The best I've ever had of any helmet-based headset, probably because, partially because of the quiet helmet. I know that I normally have to have my gold wing volume turned up to about 13 or 14 to be able to get the volume I like on this helmet. I can get to my target volume with the Goldwing only set to 6 or 7. It's really amazing. I'm getting a lot more volume Partially, I think, because the helmet is fitting a little tighter. The speakers are probably closer to my ears, but yet not uncomfortably so. It's not like they're digging into my ears. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with it has the Harman Kardon uh, sound system. Both the microphone and the speakers are by Harman Kardon, and perhaps that's making some difference. And while I didn't get any video of the test, I did test this mesh system with my Cena 50S mesh, and it worked flawlessly. I had on channel one using open mesh. I got an instant uh, connection communication, and all of the communication between the two helmets was crystal clear. Now, I did not do a riding test where I am, you know, half a mile or so away from another rider using a center system. So if any of you out there own the Impulse helmet with mesh and you've done a ride with other riders using Senna, please let me know in the comments down below what your experience has been. But uh, certainly it connects perfectly using the Senna mesh uh, to the 50S anyway. I haven't tested it with any of the other headsets, but it, it worked perfectly with the 50S. I have done quite a bit of testing on the clear visor, uh, raising it and lowering it. Like I said earlier, it's a little bit stiff, but that's actually a good thing. It won't fall down on you when you open it up. And it uh, has a very firm, a very solid, a very quality feel when you open it. Uh, the same is true of the sunshade. I like that control down below rather than on top of the helmet. It's very easy to flip the sunshade up and you can put it to just about any level. And when it's fully extended, you can see there's only maybe three quarters of an inch 
between that nose guard, that little spoiler, and the sunshade. So that should help prevent a lot of the wind that could come in when you are riding with that clear visor open. Chin bar can be raised up pretty easily just by pulling down on that little latch. And uh, it, it just has a very nice feel. One more thing to mention is when you close that clear visor, you do so with your left hand. And on the HJC, sometimes the right side of the visor doesn't seal properly. But on this helmet, it does. It seals all the way around, which is a very, very good feature. I also wanted to test the helmet at highway speeds. Here I'm going about 50, 55 miles an hour. I think I may actually get up to 60 miles an hour during this test. And I can tell you the helmet is much quieter than my HJC IS Max 2 or my Cymax 3. And that also helps with better audio. The quieter the helmet, uh, the better that audio is coming through those speakers. But at highway speeds, you don't get a lot of wind noise like you do with some other helmets. So let's go back to the studio where I can give you my final thoughts on this Senna Impulse modular helmet with mesh communications. Okay, so what do I think of this Senna Impulse helmet? Actually, I got to say I'm pretty impressed from a standpoint just as a helmet. Let's just talk about the helmet first, then I'll talk about some of the communications and the other stuff. Um, I think it fits really good. In fact, it's probably the best fitting helmet I've ever owned for me. Now, everybody's has a different shape head. Some people can wear HJC helmets, some wear Nolans, some wear, uh, you know, it's all across the board. Uh, Arai, Schubert, you, you name it. So some helmets, some helmets don't fit me. I cannot wear a Nolan helmet, for example. Uh, but this one, fortunately, does fit. I'm not sure if HJC is making this helmet for them. I don't know. Uh, if you know, put it in the comments down below. But it is, uh, it feels to me like a super high quality helmet. Now this retails for $6.99 on the Sunna website. And I'll put a link in the description of this video if you're interested in this helmet. They also have some other models of helmets. They have some full face helmets. This is their top of the line modular helmet because it has the Sunna mesh technology built in. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm okay with the way this opens. It's got like a little latch down here at the bottom. You lift up and it opens up and it locks very solidly once you open it. It has a very firm latch up at the top. Uh, the interior materials feel very soft, very comfortable. It even says or it has a little drawing here on the inside of a pair of eyeglasses like they've that like they've actually carved out a little area on each side so that if you wear sunglasses or eyeglasses to accommodate that I've never seen that before and it's very cool the, the all the materials on the interior uh, are removable so that you can clean them it has the built-in Harman Kardon microphone it has this nice little buckle a uh, quick release buckle, the little power port on the bottom uh, for charging, and you can also update the firmware over Wi-Fi. Now, I did do that, and I didn't show it in the video, but it's a pretty simple process once you get it all connected to your smartphone and you you pair this with your mobile phone and you're on the same Wi-Fi network and they explain very good in the documentation how to do this as far as the rest of the helmet let's see the little sun visor I like this little uh, down at the bottom it, it takes some getting used to because it's kind of stiff it allows you to set it at any uh, distance down the the shield and so it doesn't have any detents. It doesn't stop at any specific locations. Uh, so you have full range flexibility of how you want to open or close it. As you can see, if you put it all the way down, you've almost got complete 100% coverage. You do have 100% coverage. So I'm thinking in the summertime when you're riding with this shield open and all you have is your sun shield, you're going to have a lot of good wind protection. Now, we don't, it's a little cool right now outside. It's about 48 degrees, so it's a little cold for me to ride with.
with this all open. But that's a very, very interesting design. I, I think I'm going to like that. Now, I will be doing more long-term testing on this helmet, so stay tuned, and probably in a couple of months I'll do an update to give you more of a long-term review. But my initial review of this uh, Senna Impulse modular helmet is very positive. I'm very impressed. It's one of the most impressive uh, things I've seen come out of Senna, and they have some very nice stuff. I'll also say that if you like Senna communications, especially the mesh part, which is, and you should watch my video on the 50S and some of the other uh, mesh products, that the, the mesh communications is just light years ahead, in my opinion, of what some other companies have, because it's so simple. You just turn on open mesh, you set it to channel one, and you're automatically linked up with anybody else on that channel. It's just very, very simple. But what I was going to say is if you like that concept of that type of communication, but what's kept you from buying a Cine product has always been the fact that they're not waterproof. Well, this design right here looks to me like it's completely sealed. I don't see any way uh, for water to get in here and damage any of the electronics. So I, I think that would solve that issue if you're a Cine, uh If you're interested in their products, you just didn't like the fact that their headsets don't have any waterproof claims. So, And I don't know if this is claimed to be waterproof. I should go back and look at the website. They may say they're on their, on their website. So check it out on their website. Another feature it has is this little kind of a tail light built into the back. And this can either stay on solid or it can stay on like a flashing mode for a daylight flash. And then they also have a nighttime flashing mode. And you can set that very easily through the app. And uh, it, it's uh, that's just a nice little extra thing that they threw in there. I also like this little ducktail design. It's just, I don't know, it's just a very classy looking helmet. Sound by Harman Kardon. Uh, now we talk about the electronics a little more. Uh, it's got the best sound I've had of any helmet system, and I think because of the way the helmet fits so uh, snugly against my ears, those uh, speakers are very close to my ears, so I don't have to use nearly as much volume on the Goldwing. On my Cine 50S with the HJC helmet, I have to crank it up to 13 or 14 to get a comfortable volume level for me. With this helmet, I was able to get by with level 6 or 7. So it, that was impressive. If there was something about it I did not like, I would tell you. Uh, I should mention that Senna is not sponsoring this video. No money exchanged hands. They're not paying me to do this review. They did, however, they did send me this helmet to test and review. Check it out. It's the Senna Impulse modular helmet. Uh, you saw it here. And I'm sure I'll be wearing it again in some of my other videos and doing some long-term testing. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know for upcoming videos. And if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That does help us with our YouTube ranking. So thanks again for joining me today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews. And remember, no matter what you ride, that's irrelevant. Ride often, but always ride safe.